Large armies require lots of resources. You have to pay for their equipment, their food, and their wages, which requires quite a robust economy. As you may have noticed, I haven't really focused that much on economy in this beginner guide. That's because Deathmatch itself is less focused on economy and more on army. However, in order to properly field a strong army, you need to know how to create and manage your eco. In this video, I'll give you town center placement advice, I'll talk about economy management based on your army, and I'll tell you about the economy differences based upon your opening strategy. To start, make sure you have about 5 town center foundations placed by the 5 minute mark. At a minimum, put 3 on gold and 2 on wood or food. Now, pro players generally recommend no more than this, because with a fast execution of this build, you'll be able to start your economy earlier. However, for beginners, you may want more to give you a larger margin for error. Also, it's fine to put multiple town centers on the same gold. Put 2-3 to three on your main, larger gold piles, and 1 or 2 on your side golds, dependent upon map and strategy. You also need to know when to gather in other resources, food and wood. If you are a cavalry sieve, you'll need more villagers on food soon, almost directly after gold runs out. If you are a siege sieve, wood will run out faster. If you are an infantry sieve or archer sieve, wood and food will generally run out at about the same time. When moving villagers onto wood or food, look at your current numbers. If you have a lot of villagers on gold and you're stockpiling that resource, take them off of it. If you still need gold income though, make more villagers and task them onto wood or food. Also, if you're rushing, you'll probably be taking more losses than your opponent, and as such, you'll burn through your gold supplies faster. You may want to make more town centers and delete villagers later if you overboom. When deleting villagers, by the way, select a large group of working villagers and press the stop hotkey, F by default. Then rapidly scroll through the idle villagers whilst pressing and holding delete. This is a fast way to do it even in lag. Also, instead of trying to make more town centers when rushing, a more powerful yet more risky strategy is to try a market open. In this opening, make a market as part of your opening build, usually the 4th or 5th building, to quickly sell food or wood. You probably won't need to market if opening with siege, so normally you'll sell more wood than you would food. This extra gold can be used to field more paladins, cav archers, or other units. However, be sure not to sell too much resources, otherwise you'll run out of them and you won't be able to field army or make economy. I normally buy no more than 5,000 gold, but you should experiment to see what works best for you. While these are the tips I can give you, the most important part of managing eco is to keep an eye on how fast you're running through your stockpiles and move or create villagers accordingly. In other words, how you manage your economy is your responsibility, which just takes practice and awareness to learn. This also means that it's up to your play style. You like to make 10 town centers early to get a huge eco running? That's your play style. Some might disagree with it, but it will work in certain maps. You like to use the market openings? That's your strategy choice. Others may try to tell you that you must follow a strict guideline to the absolute letter in order to succeed, but that's not the way I do things. The goal of my videos and this beginner guide is to teach you the mechanics which will make you a better player. As such, I have one last video in this series where I'll tell you the best beginner deathmatch sieves to learn various important mechanics. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.